Hi guys, welcome to another short video of our Marine Technical Training Academy. Today we are going to learn the procedure to do the vacuum in a lower unit, in a drive unit. The procedure to do the vacuum to verify the condition of the seals. If you have suspicious that the seals in the lower unit are damaged, it's normally the symptom is that you have a milky oil in the lower unit. Today we are going to learn the process to do the vacuum. Okay, in the vacuum it does the opposite. You're actually sucking air out. Ah, and that sucking. one you cannot have oil in it because then, no yeah, then you'll suck oil into the piston and <laughs> you just damage the toilet. Oh, but uh, in that case, uh, only draining the, the, the case is not enough because there are a lot of uh, oil in other parts. Right, but you do this on the top side. Ah, uh, in the top. top One second. Side. All right. No oil on the no, case. You, when you drain the oil, you should always let it drain for a little bit. You know, until you see it just a little mist, it's just a gravity will pull it down, then you should be enough to pull the vacuum on it. And this is 10 psi, same thing, move everything around, and that's it. Now, oh, I, those are 10, 10 psi negative. Negative, correct. Because, negative. Because it's vacuum. Correct, it's, it's vacuum. vacuum. With no oil and, uh, and uh, on top. Right, and you can move everything around the same scenario. In the same scenario. Now we are going to do that process in a, in a couple of uh, lower units that uh, we have uh, ready to take the uh, pressure test and vacuum test. Right. For uh, the pressure test, the gauge is calibrated in positive pressure. No? Correct. Positive, positive pressure. pressure. For the vacuum test, it's in and negative. Negative, negative values, no? Negative yep. values. Because it's suction. Because it's suction. Right. Okay, we are going to do the same. We are going to remove the top screw and we are going to insert it. the vacuum test. Alright, so now look over here. Oh, nice. That's negative. Yeah. I so have 15 got? negative. Yep, that's good. Okay. So now the same uh, principle applies. As soon as it, it, one minute, it, it's okay if it drops or, it, uh, you know, drops the pressure one psi okay in that case you move the propeller right. again you move the chaff right and you verify that uh, the vacuum stay around 15 right well 10 psi is what we want we okay. put a little too much uh, this is but too it, much but it's okay but if it was leaking then you would see you would see a leak like this a little a little exactly this is leaking that would be a small leak a big leak yeah like that. all right okay perfect okay. danny in any marine uh, storage you can buy those tools well, any marine store wouldn't have it in stock. They would have it for themselves. This is stuff that you would have to order. This is what the marinas order. So if you see the pictures that we took, those are the part numbers for this. This is a Stevens. This is very common. That's the same tank, the filler that you got, the big black tank that we were showing in the video. Oh, that's yeah. That's also from Stevens as well. So that's probably one of the best tanks. Oh, that's Expensive, the best. Right. But it's one of the best. Right. 